Hey everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and welcome back to another episode of Toy Talk. In today's episode, we have quite a bit of pictures to go through, so it might be a little bit longer episode, and quite a few uh, Monster High pictures. And this is Max, and I just got home from work. I appreciate Ducky preparing this. <laughs> I'm ready to talk about Monster High. Yep. And, right off the bat, I, you know what? I think I've been getting too soft. This is an unfinished doll. There needs to be paint details on the gold. Mm. Now the, the molded um, tights and the lackluster design with the dress, that's a separate issue. I am not going to accept this as a finished doll because there's details on the mold of the accessories that are not painted and I'm sick of it. Mm. Well, um, this was mainly just, uh, reminded the picture of the Clio, but the real new stuff is that they've announced, and there's pictures of two other characters in this ballerina in this line. line. Oh, I can't yep. wait. I didn't know this was coming. There's Monica, and she, she, I don't know when exactly this is supposed to come out, it's... but she looks like she's ready for spring. She's very pastel. Now, there's the same issues with this doll, but I think it fares a little bit better. It's still not finished. If they added just a, if they kept the paint, or okay, the molded tights for the ballerina, which I do not like, okay, whatever, that's a design choice. But you have to finish the doll. And this is promo pictures. The, the headpiece needs some paint detail just a little bit, maybe one other paint, one other paint for, look at that. Mm hmm maybe just the roses the top of the bow there the little uh zombie hands i am so sick of seeing molded accessories with no paint detail it looks like blobs and i'm gonna go harder on the towel because i'm sick of it they're obviously not listening to anyone and i think we have very limited time left of monster high even though this is nice to see a new release this is 2018 they have the monster squad animated what's it called um, zombie squad, Bull squad Bull squad um, they have that going it's budget animation it I think our time is limited and I'm not gonna accept an unfinished doll anymore well I it's... these are probably the better releases yes pictures <laughs> I know so <laughs> far um, of what I have in this toy talk. Uh, Cleo's my favorite, Monica would be my second favorite, and then because no new doll line for Monster High after the reboot can be complete without Draculaura, there is Draculaura <laughs> in this line too. Um, so she looks a little... Uh, eh, nah, at least, never mind. At least she has uh, joints in her arms. Yeah, it's the new joints though. They're sticking with that new joint. Yeah. They, they all, it this seems, is probably my least favorite one out of these. It seems like they had the... One of the main issues was unavoidable for them. I think they had to, to change their factory in China. And they went with a different one. So they had to create all new molds and stuff. So that's why... That's a other reason why it's not... Now that's speculation. But that's another reason I think the molds are not as good. They're using a subpar factory in China. I think. But I don't know. This is supposed to be the premium dolls. They're going to charge regular price for these. These are not budget dolls, and you're getting budget details. Mm -hmm. And then um, a new doll is this one. Go oh, okay. to Bat Draculaura. That's which, not new. This is a new one. This is another version of her, but they already did this idea. Yeah, it's a new This is just... Thing. It, this is Mattel, this is just proving that you didn't do it right the first time, and it doesn't look like you did it right the second time either. These wings don't really look like bat wings. They look like butterfly wings more than bat wings to me. So the Are you serious? They just wanted to reuse the box. I don't know. Man, a new level of cheapness. Is it, I, I, is it a molded on top too? Yeah, the lever to chain the make the wings go up is on the front there. So you pull down the front of her top and the wings go up. What a way to reward your customers 
that have been trying to support you through the reboot is to release a, a second version of a failed doll not even a year later. Way to go, Mattel. I don't think that... I think the, the idea is that the when the lever thing is down, it's supposed to look maybe like an apron, yeah. but I don't think that lever's going to lay flat against her, her skirt, so it's not going to look very good. Her wings look garbage pulled up like that. That doesn't look good. I have to, I have to see the old one again. I don't oh think it looks goodness. like bat wings, though. They call it gold a bat. Mm-hmm. I cannot believe... Ugh. I did. I honestly did not know. I was not looking at doll news. I just came home from work. Mm -hmm. Ducky prepared this. Thank you again. And then yeah. to go along with that, we have Gold to Wolf, Claudine Wolf. Which, an important point is that she does not have her regular ears. Her wolf ears. This doll doesn't have her ears. <laughs> oh, gimmick dolls. So they thought the Gold to Bat was a great enough idea to create a whole line oh no there's just these two just these two mm -hmm. and she has this um interesting color piece and her mask comes down the color piece when it goes up it reminds me of like a vegas showgirl look at these blank stairs on these dolls the, the molded on stuff the gimmicks is one thing you these dolls the these tail. characters are suffering claudine has a blank stare and she's upset uh, what? So that's okay. So the gimmick, the ears. What is that's? What is this? I'm pointing to the screen for Ducky. What is that? Um, it's a collar. Like she turns into a wolf, and she has a big fur collar. I don't know exactly. I don't even understand what it is. I mean, the, the front piece is kind of neat, but it, it can, it's the missing. Mask. Yeah, it's missing paint detail. But she's missing her regular ears. Yeah. So. And I don't understand the thing in the back. If she's a Vegas showgirl. That's what it is. But she's supposed to be a wolf. Yeah. I don't know why. <sighs> it just is. I'm honestly depressed. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> Yes, I am. That's a true. I don't. I. So you're bummed I'm out, but you're not. Depressed. Okay, I'm not depressed. I'm. Bu you're right. I'm bummed out that this is what. This isn't to look forward to. Oh. I think out of all of the, well, out of all of them. I mean, out of Dracula and Claudine's painted on tops, this is probably a better painted on top because at least they did some detail, painted on detail. For her top, they did the little zipper and the spots. I'm done with the. I'm not. No, it looks horrible still. Okay. They painted on every doll top, and they're not giving. Well, at least, I, I guess no. The, some joint is better than no joint, but it's not a good joint. Well. It's on just on the elbow. I guess it's on the wrist too. Yeah, they have full articulation. Well, they don't have it. The at shoes the, uh, are cool. I like the shoes. The shoulder part of the arm. Yeah, they do. I think so. I think it's still a different joint at the shoulder. Okay. And then we have the comic book dolls. Isn't this the ice cream girls? Just the second version. Isn't this the same characters that were the emoji or the ice cream goals or I don't know, but just the new. Uh. I don't know, but I think the shoes and the outfits are completely new, because the the pattern for the dress, the the fabric on the dresses, um, it's comic book and it's like personalized to each character, which I think is cool. And then the shoes, the heels on the shoes, um, is like action and speech bubbles for comic books. You, you want a good comic book inspired Monster High doll, go back to the uh, Weberella and the uh, Power Goals. Yes, but most no, people can't no, afford that. No comparison. Oh. No comparison. Well, the comparison is the price. Um, I don't... 
I don't know. I know Weverella is expensive because she was Comic Con. Yeah. But I don't. You maybe be able to pick up a, maybe one or two of them, not the bad price. Oh, the Power Goals. Yeah, online. Probably. I mean, you're not in. You're not gonna find them in store. Mm -hmm. I would say check eBay or Amazon mm -hmm. and skip these. I'm not a fan of the base dolls of these, but I like the outfits and the shoes and the accessories of these dolls. It's these printed on dresses. They just generic like pals and baps and stuff. It's just the simplest thing. This is it's not a little... generic because each one has like specific to the character. There's mummies for Cleo. There's little... Okay, like, I missed that. It's Monster High comics for each of them. It's a little bit better than usual, but still not good for the basic ones. Like I said, I don't like the base doll, but I like accessories and uh, dresses these I don't like at all this is like a flashback to last year for ever after high this is what I knew was coming in this episode and that's why I'm thinking like there's limited time left from monster high because they're doing like the same pattern of even basic and even worse designs mm -hmm. I cannot stand these swimsuit dolls mm -hmm. um, they can't stand. There's no stands. They're pointed. Why are... I mean, if you're going to do the no articulation, why are they pointed? Their feet. Is it because they did ballerina dolls with the same? And the ballerinas have pointed toes? Um, I'm Probably. pretty sure all Monster High's feet are pointed like that. Uh -oh. Because they're all high heels. Well, when they're not... When they're swimming, it doesn't make sense. Listen. Swimsuits painted on swimsuits. Oh, Picture. here's uh Frankie's sister. Mm-hmm. And her in the I actually like the still image. That's nice. Mm-hmm. I still have not watched the show. Yeah. Some still images from the show. Teresa, I think this is her sister. Oh, that's cool. Some more pictures. Okay, available now, The Legend of Shadow High. Which is um, the crossover in book form. And this is, I can't recommend this enough. Because if you ever... Are nostalgic for things ever after high and what it could have been this is your best option available now even more than the I'm gonna say the final ever after high dolls because are the ones that you have to really search to find those back-to-school ones they're somewhere I don't know there's probably extremely limited release I think this is the last quality ever after high thing you could buy right now mm -hmm. and it's uh, I, I'm interested in this book I would love if this would actually come to fruition and then the crossover movie. Mm -hmm. I really support this book. Yeah. So that's it for Monster High stuff. So now we have um, some other toys going with uh, Funko Mystery Minis for this Coco. Disney Pixar Coco, and I'm super excited about this movie. I wasn't originally when it was first announced, but the recent trailers, I'm really, I can't wait now. That looks good. Yeah. It keeps look, it looks better and better every time to me. The mystery minis look cute. Yes. And here's this cool Hector singing figure. And this is from Disney Store. This looks com, really cool. And he's really neat. Here's a, a hippogriff. Yeah, that's from pretty From the cool. My Little Pony movie. I forget her name. She's the princess of the hippogriffs. Um, but I think it's cool that they're making them into toys. Yes. I like that species from the movie. These are like limited edition. I don't know much about these. But um, I think this is the gold version or something. The new series. Isn't it, these are LOL? Yeah. I, I don't, I've never opened one of these, but this one looks cute. 
and some more mystery minis for Horizon. I've heard really good things about this game. It's a PlayStation 4 game, exclusive, mm -hmm. and it's sort of like Zelda, but with um, like mechanical creatures. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. It's become pretty popular. Mm -hmm. um, this is cool. You When you get a pop, I think they're experimenting with digital pop collection. You could you can scan it at home and take it on the go. Oh, so you can have your pops on your phone too. Here are some different Funko Pops. Uh, this is Masters of the Universe. Mm -hmm. And also Blue Beetle and Booster Gold for DC. Sonic? Uh, I like Sonic a lot. I don't know if he makes a good pop. The, really? design, the style with him, his character, I'm not sure. That looks exactly like him. I mean, do you like the way it looks, though? I think it looks exactly like okay. him, so All I right, think maybe yes. I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Some James Bond. This is cool. I am I really like James Bond. It brings back memories of watching with my dad. Mm. And it's these, I think, are going to sell really nice. I'm so I just when I saw this I'm like wow they haven't touched James Bond yet I did mm. it's kind of surprising Here. what's this ducky um I recently um not I've no these are ball jointed dolls uh there's this one that has been come out for pre-order and it's Levi um from Attack on Titan. The particular uh, brand is called iOS. And I thought it was cool, so I wanted to share. You're gonna talk about ball jointed dolls and toy talk? Well, occasionally. Just, just keep pictures them, of cool you ones. Gotta keep, you gotta stay tuned till the end of the episode to see if she picks up one in the next one. <laughs> I like looking at these. I mean, uh, They're... you're not, I'm probably not gonna get this for you because I can't afford it. But it looks really cool. I, I, I don't want to <laughs> buy it. I just want to look at it. Um, yeah, it's fun to look at. Yeah. I, you... I think it's cool. The ones that, um, in particular, they make anime characters see it in 3D like this. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Really cool. And here is Star Wars Force and Destiny Ray and Kylo Ren. Yes, we covered this before, but mm -hmm. here's a picture of the box. Some, like, I remember seeing this last year or the year before, but I think this is an updated one gift set. Yeah, it has, um, who's the Tangle guy? Uh, right, oops, whoopsie, whoopsie. Whoa, you're giving me a headache. <laughs> recap, Toy Talk Recap. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties. I don't know what happened there. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry if you got motion sickness. <laughs> if you people were watching during that, they're probably sick. Uh, it's Ryder. Oh, okay. Yes. Now, they keep doing this. This is nice. They do it during the holidays, mm -hmm. a gift set. Mm -hmm. um, it's frustrating, though, too. It's and only frustrating why? for people who have bought them before. No. That's not because I think last didn't they have Aladdin last time? They put the guys in the gift sets uh -huh. to get them. You have to spend like a hundred bucks, uh, and they still haven't released Aladdin as a mini on his own. Oh, I see. So it's very frustrating. Disney, you do not ex escape. Well, there's always eBay. You might be able to find him single. Yeah. People on eBay will put him for 40 bucks to help pay for their other doll. <laughs> you know it's right. So, I'm not just hurt on Mattel, Disney. That is lame. It's been a year. You still haven't reached Aladdin on his own. And now you're doing it with... They have the big Aladdin on his own, don't they? Yes, but we stopped collecting those, so I'm angry. You want the mini Aladdin? <laughs> yes, I really... My favorite Disney animated movie of all time is Aladdin. And there he is again! He, well, you can get the figurine. I want the doll. Hmm. I want a little Abu. I want a little magic carpet set. Mm -hmm. With a lamp with genie popping out. Disney, give me my Aladdin mini doll set. 
I like this one. I think this is really cute. They have a little, um, little Mulan. I want to see her in a mini set. Yes, the last mini set we got was Boo from Monster Inc. And I really like Monster Inc, but mm -hmm. honestly, Boo is not my favorite character design or character. She's a nice character, but she doesn't, she's not, there's lots of more interesting characters that they could have done first. Mm -hmm. Um, covered these before, mm -hmm. cute Posket. Yep, here's Tinkerbell. Man, yeah. this is a long episode. You guys gotta let us know if you're staying with us this long and if you stay till the end. Do we have a shout out at the end of this too? Yes. Wow. We should have maybe done two of these. Uh, this is a, a doll set from Disney Store. Again, they do this yearly. Mm -hmm. What's interesting there is they have Snow White and the Two Dwarves. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting that they included a dress change and put two dwarves. Mm -hmm. But I don't understand it because it just makes you want the other five. I don't know. And it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, these are new... Pl yep. Well, Bashful I get, but I would think the other one would be probably Grumpy, because I think out of the, all the dwarves, those are the two that she was closest Does to. Does not make sense, Disney. Does not make sense. It should have been Bashful and Grumpy instead of Happy. But anyway, here are some long-tailed plushies. This is interesting. Disney trying something new. They do different things with plushies. They're seeing... They're doing a lot of new plushie lines. See what sticks, what gets the sales. I think. Because mm -hmm. I like the Pegasus. Remember, one. they have the plushies in the blanket. I like the plushie. I mean, I like the Pegasus one. Oh yeah. That's my favorite. So now we are on to the Woo! comment. Comment below if you stayed this far. Remember. Okay. Okay. The Dolly should I, Dreamer. Should I read it? Go ahead. You guys crack me up. I love watching your toy talk reviews and your banter. I have to agree that the Enchantables could be much better, but overall, I still think they're pretty cute. The painted on top also bugs me, but I have to get the parrot and zebra ones anyway. I've also caved and got some of the first ones released. That's okay, Dolly Dreamer. There is something, some nice things about the Enchantables too. I am hard on them because Mattel can do better, and they should. They should treat their customers with respect and keep the quality up and give a quality product. I included this comment because <laughs> what we say, like, um, I think people should have their own opinions. Yes. No matter what Max says or I say, keep your own opinion and what you like is what you like and that's awesome. Yes. And don't let our opinions sway you that much. Um, we just like to have our comments. Mm -hmm. And um, even when I review stuff, I try to give helpful comments, but I'm not doing it so, like, to change people's mind. Like, if you see it and you see something you don't like, then don't get it if you don't want to. But if I don't like it and you like it, get it, you know? That's a great comment, Ducky, and mm -hmm. I totally respect it. Mm hmm I have a different point of view. I think that we are, as a community, we are beaten down by these companies. They don't treat us with respect. We support them. They don't address our concerns. And they're delivering a cheap that product. I was people you, should have their own opinions yes. and not have to be changed by people on YouTube. No, I don't... Okay, I don't, I'm not one trying to change anyone's opinion but i really think that because we accept this so often and then why the reason i'm so loud about things and bring it up so much is because we start to accept it there are some good things about enchantables but there's some things that are not right to the consumer they're made in my opinion they're made to make money and they're not made to produce a quality product and that's what you should be bringing to market if you're an industry leader like Mattel. So I just think we're beaten down and we start to accept things little by little by little. We do compromise after compromise after compromise. And I, I ex respect your opinion, Dolly Dreamer. I really No, do. if they look at an enchantable and they like it, and that's something that they like, 
That's not them beating I totally, down and I think, everything else. That's I, their... Like, you can't say that they've been beaten into liking it. No, I don't think... I think the, her approach is perfect. Get the ones that are good. Yeah. There's a lot that are bad. Okay. But I, I think we're doing too many compromises. And I, if you... If you think enchantables are great the way there is, more power to you. I want you to be loud and proud, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I think we're compromising too much. We're accepting all this junk. And okay. it's not right. There should be a Mattel seal of quality. Mattel Overall, I think people won't buy stuff that they don't like. And that's and the great think, way to do it. I don't think the majority of people We'll buy stuff that's junky. Well, that's that's great. So. There are some really cool enchantable designs and ideas for characters. Mm -hmm. And some of them, I kind of honestly was like, well, that's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. But still, they're doing, it could be better. Okay, I we gone too far. I'm sorry. I'm going off tangent. And that was not expensive. Well, not expecting the Dolly to do. Dreamer liked our banter, so hopefully you well, like I gave that you, too. We gave you some more, and we went way long on this episode. Yep. Um, Monster High news. We've been waiting. Yep. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thanks. Bye.